futuristic crafts out there, those digital crafts that are not print on demand. Today, I'm going to hit you with the top five digital product ideas. And number five is really going to blow your mind for a creative digital business idea that's going to be making a fortune, creating something that you didn't even know existed. But let's start with number one, digital craft to sell that's not print on demand. Number one is Zoom backgrounds. With so many people working from home and Zoom meetings with their office, so many are looking to spruce up their backgrounds. So their house doesn't look so awful, but do they need to? Green screens are really affordable, but many conference software, Zoom included, now offer options to cut you out from the background and to you to be able to add your own custom background. Crafty digital creators or expert photographers can create and sell those backgrounds. And bonus points if you create a small tutorial to explain to people how they can change their background in their Zoom calls. It's really easy. Idea number two is product mock-ups or digital photography backgrounds. There are commercial places and print-on-demand companies provide digital mock-ups for you to put, for you to show what an item is going to look like. But they're boring because they're commercially available to everybody. Everybody's got them. So if someone wants to stand out and look different, they're going to need different mock-ups. So a crafty entrepreneur can make these digital mock-ups. This way they can have individual flair and follow the season's trends. And number three is editing other people's product photographs, especially if, like in part two, you've got these digital mock-ups. You can actually charge people to put their products on your digital mock-ups to do the editing for them. And for extra bonus, you can offer to resize them into different packages for the different social media they might want to post on, or even just editing influencers' photographs. We live in a crazy world where people follow people who don't look like what they really look like because they're editing so much. And if you have a skill at digital manipulation, photo editing, anything like this, then you can do it better and quicker than most people can themselves. So you're actually likely to be saving them time and potentially saving them money. Don't forget, we're nearly at product five, which is going to blow your mind did me. But number four is video creation and editing. Etsy, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. These are all great places for product videos, but many small creators don't have the first clue about how to make videos, and they have just not learned and don't have the time to learn to edit videos. And in the past couple of years, videos are becoming more and more important on places like Instagram Reels, Pinterest videos, and Etsy listing videos. So if you've taken the time to learn how to string together photographs to look amazing, make small animated videos, or anything unique that I've not thought of, then you can use those skills that you've got to help other people create videos and make yourself some good money in the process. And the bonkers one, number five, digital clothing design. Yeah, this is not what you think. This is not designing clothing digitally. This is designing digital clothing. You can buy for large amounts of money designer clothing that doesn't actually exist in the physical world and never will exist in the world. Or as Vogue puts it, they exist outside the confines of reality. So if you're a budding designer with mad Photoshop skills, this could be something to consider. You can create looks for the social media stars that are literally out of this world. Photos and even videos. I know this might sound bonkers right now, but many people have reinvented themselves during lockdown. And basically their social media personalities are like glamorous avatars of themselves. And with the future of Facebook becoming meta, this metaverse is sounding frighteningly like it's going to become some kind of a second life for people. So basically you design these clothes, people send you photographs of themselves in plain clothing and you edit them into the clothes you've designed for them to post them on social media. And if you think about it, if you get past the bonkersness of all this, but digital clothing that have never been actually created are the ultimate in sustainable fashion. Okay, I hope that gave you some ideas or at least entertained you somewhat. The world's a crazy place, but there are some great digital products that you could be selling and they're not all print on demand.